Nobody respects the nigga that whoop online and then when we get to the party, it's time to fight. You run in the car and as you driving off, you you shoot the gun two times. Fuck nigga! Fuck nigga! You fuck niggas ain't no shit, nigga! Dog, oh, they back there. Olive leaf extract is good for naturally lowering your blood pressure, regulating your diabetic blood sugar, lupus, fibroid, STDs, and a whole bunch of other shit that you're gonna need in the bedroom, big home. Now, to get your bottle, you go to myoliveleaf.biz or call 612 567 3263. Get your shit together, big home. I am. Welcome back to the Big Fast Podcast. I am Ayo Seiko and this is Are You Fucking Serious? Um Look here, uh Loki homeboy. The issue with you fuck niggas, I'ma say this shit just like I said with Casanova. You niggas is all rah rah retarded. You ain't got no mind, you ain't got no understanding. We retarded, we uh, with the shit and all that good shit like you be whooping like a motherfucker. My whole issue is, I have an issue with motherfuckers being about that shit until it's about that shit time. How the fuck, so, so you saying that I give you the motherfucking blues if the situation's correct. Nigga, I got them get to you, nigga, anytime fuck niggas on, bitch, what the fuck you do, and shit, whole ass bitch ass nigga, what the fuck, motherfucker. As long as it's the right time and the circumstances are correct. And I, I I can't go to jail and you know uh, all this like dog. If you're not about that retarded shit all the time every day, then don't start the retarded shit. shit. Don't mind me. I'm just making sure that you know that that PayPal link is always in the description box. Ninety percent of communication is nonverbal. You know that I believe that shit. So as Although I love when you go in the comment section and you say, oh, this is really shit on YouTube, oh, this fuck shit is a thousand, keep it real, and all that shit like that. I appreciate that shit, but if you really want to support the channel and you really believe the shit you're saying, fuck with the PayPal. Whether it's a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, show support. You know that you donate over twenty dollars, you have the option of getting your name or your business shouted out at the beginning of any episode of your choosing. Also, if you want one of the Big Homes AO Nation t-shirts, all you gotta do is go to the PayPal, shoot the $25 on them, come back to the Facebook Messenger or the Instagram, let me know you paid, tell me what size you want, and it should be at your house. After you get your address, but I think that's kinda obvious, I really don't wanna say that on this fucking promo. But, you know what I'm saying? It's really simple, whatever like that. But I want you to show support, like, you know what I'm saying? AO Nation is not about talking, it's about doing. Do the shit, be home. Nobody told you to go at 6 9 this is all I'm saying. For everybody who's going at this goddamn Mexican, if you're not about that shit at all times, stop making motherfuckers look bad. He's making every opponent he goes at look like bitches. He's taking no losses because he's really putting you motherfuckers in positions to where you really have to be about that shit and you motherfuckers are just used to talking that shit and not doing shit about it. Like, see, this is the definition of whooping. I'm going to talk about this shit. Ah, ah, fuck nigga. Well, I swear to God, well, you don't want nothing around this bitch. Well, I swear to God, well, well, on my mama, bitch ass nigga. On everything. On my soul. On my soul, bitch ass nigga. You don't want nothing over this bitch. Then nigga say, let's go to the bathroom. Nigga, you better be, nigga, you better be glad, goddamn CO come fucking out, swear to God, boy, you better be glad, boy, real talk, I ain't even with that shit, boy, real talk, I'm trying to do my time, bro, I'm just trying to do my time, dog. real talk, boy, you better be glad I'm trying to go home, dog. talk to the priest, you know what I'm saying, they got my head right, fuck that shit, dog. fuck that shit, stupid, like, why is you on this, I gotta be smart shit now, why wasn't you on that, I gotta be smart shit when you were sitting, you know what I'm saying? 
Why are you niggas so hard on social media? You are a social media nigga, then you and this motherfucker talking about some <clears throat> did, did, Tonight don't change who I am, I'm still the same nigga, hold up dawg You built your image on being gangster How the fuck doesn't this change who the fuck you are? You built your image on being a gangster, gangster is not no Let me be intelligent about this situation and find out what's the logical way of reasoning to where we can solve this issue with the least amount of conflict. That's not what gangster is. See, you motherfuckers start making all kind of different fucking meanings for real nigga, real street nigga, real gangster, hustler, trapper. A trapper could be a motherfucker that go to work. I'm a real trapper, I hustle. No, dog, that means you sell drugs. You motherfuckers is using these fucking vague words and then you like to have little bullshit ass meanings behind that shit. Oh no, see, I'm using trapper as an acronym. The T is for teach people. The R is for respecting everyone. The A is for authenticity. The fuck? Nigga, I thought you was, nigga, I'm trying to get some dope, nigga. What the fuck? Stop fucking false advertising. I gotta go all the way around this home to try to find a real plug. You thought you a trapper. And you got all kind of fucking, nigga, Get your stupid ass out of here. If you niggas ain't about this shit, dog, just leave it like that. And if, here's the thing. If you faking, if you fake gangstering to get some money, then don't beef with no fucking body. They fucking you look stupid niggas over telling y'all that controversy sales and not telling you that one day you might actually have to prove that shit, dog. This nigga is pulling you bitch ass niggas cards. As much as a motherfucker want to report, man, motherfucker ran down on him. I'm telling y'all, y'all not going to fuck with him. You not going to fuck with him. He has this shit laid the fuck out. You know he running 50 deep. So if you not, if you not that fucking powerful, leave this shit alone because he going to make you look bad. He going to kill your career. Loki Smoola, whatever the fuck your name is, dog, you lost all your stripes. All this goddamn woofing in the car, that's whole shit. Nobody respects the nigga that whoop online and then when we get to the party, it's time to fight. You run in the car and as you driving off, you, you shoot the gun two times. Fuck nigga! Fuck nigga! You fuck niggas ain't no shit, nigga! Dog, oh, they back there. Why the fuck is you killing the clouds? The clouds ain't did nothing to nobody. Stop talking like this the whole situation. We got too much of this shit. Motherfuckers like to talk more than they do. Too much talking, not enough action. If you are not about that dumb shit at all times, don't speak no dumb shit ever. You do not decide when the dumb shit comes. The street is full of chaos. The street is the place where if you give a mother free drugs... That's called showing love. The streets is the place where if you give a fucking parent drugs and you don't charge them, that's called showing love. This isn't the place for logic and reasoning. So don't ask street niggas to be logical about the situation when you got them because you were acting like you were with the dumb shit. Dumb shit, not sophisticated shit. Sophisticated shit is not to be and speak about uplifting black people. That's not what you own. So don't expect motherfuckers to be riding with you when you do the sophisticated thing. Yes, you did what the fuck was, was necessary. But yes, you lose all your gangster points because you ran from a rainbow hair motherfucker that you swear was pussy. How the fuck do you run for a motherfucker that's pussy? Under no circumstances is that fucking acceptable. If you claiming that you gangster, which you do, and you damn sure don't talk shit about it as you riding off. In my book, I'm not sure about y'all book, but the nigga that talks shit while riding off after he just ran from a nigga is the bitch ass nigga. Stop beefing with 6 9 if you're not ready for the goddamn. If you're not ready to go all the way, don't beef with that motherfucker, man. He got police on his team. He got these motherfucking niggas over here that's getting paid to protect him. 
stop going at him publicly. If you want to do something, let it come from the side. The fuck is wrong with you niggas? If you come at him publicly, you doing it for cloud peer point blank. Because you know you're not going to do shit to him. Big fans ball game. Elvin Sago, y'all hit that PayPal. See you in a minute.